Hola, welcome back everyone. Bienvenidos a Familia con la Plaza. Thank you for joining us for another garden workshop. My name is Mireya Arismendi. I'm the Education Manager for the Edible Teaching Garden and Culinary Arts programs here at La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. This month, we are celebrating the holidays, Los Días Festivos in Spanish, and the joy of giving with friends and family. Today, we will learn about the plant parts of the Poisentia plant, its origin and significance during the holidays. During the workshop, we are going to learn about natural dyes from plants that can be used to color holiday arts and crafts. And at the end, we are also going to learn how to make a Poisentia flower pencil using corn husk and natural dyes from vegetables. Before we begin, let's go over the materials that we are going to need today. If you don't have one of the materials, please don't worry about it. With your family, think of other similar materials that you might have at home. We're going to need the following. Seven to eight large dry corn, corn husk. If you don't have corn husk, you can use gift tissue paper. If you decide to use tissue paper, make sure that you have red, uh, green, and yellow colors four medium-sized beads, uh, two, two, uh, to get two cups of beet peels, two cups of any leafy green leftovers, such as kale and spinach, one large pan with a lid, a vegetable peeler, and then one of these, a spatula, a cutting board, three large plates, and four cups of water, one pencil or pen, one ruler, a pair of children's scissors, any available half to, half to one inch green ribbon or floral tape, glue, a scotch tape, and measuring cup. Now that we have all the materials ready, let's go over a couple of questions before we, be, we begin our workshop. Please discuss with the person next to you. The first question. What does the poinsettia plant symbolize during Los Días Festivos? Think of the holiday spirit. Second question. Why do you think using natural dyes from vegetables is a good idea to color holiday arts and crafts? Think of the benefits of using natural dyes compared to the ones made with chemicals. Please continue thinking of this question as we go through, through the workshop. We will come back to these questions again at the end of the workshop to review what we learned today. As mentioned before, this time of the year we are celebrating Los Días Festivos. And what better way to celebrate the spirit of the season than sharing the joy of giving. Today we will highlight the Poisentia plant, Flor de Nochebuena, in Spanish. The poinsettia plant is a member of the spurge family. Many plants in the spurge family are toxic. The poinsettia plant is not considered toxic. However, if ingested, it might cause tummy aches and other health issues. For example, the plant produces a milky sap that may cause skin irritation to some people. It is best to keep out of reach of pets and kids. One amazing thing about the poinsettia plant is that the colorful poinsettia flowers are not flowers at all. They're leaves. This special type of leaf is called brack, which is a leaf that mimics a flower petal. If you observe carefully, the true flower is in the center of the colorful leaves. The tiny flowers are called ciatia and bloom in different colors, such as white, red, or pink. Poinsettias are photoperiodic. This means that it responds to the length of the day and night. The scientific term is called photoperiodism. As a result of this unique adaptation, the leaves need 14 hours of complete darkness to change from green to red. And that is the reason why the plant blooms in the fall and winter when the days are the shortest and the nights are the longest. This beautiful plant is native to Southern Mexico and Central America. Long ago, 
the Aztec civilization called the poinsettia Cuatlocichitl, which means withering flower. The Aztecs used the plant in multiple ways. For example, they used it to extract a natural red dye from the plant leaves to color materials. They also extracted the milky sap from the plant to use it as medicine. Additionally, the Aztecs were the first ones to cultivate them to decorate and beautify their living spaces. The Aztecs also believed that the red color served as a reminder of the sacrifice that their gods had made to create everything they had received. Today, the poinsettia continues to combine indigenous and Christian beliefs. The poinsettia plant symbolizes the joy of giving during los días festivos. It continues to be a symbol of thanks and giving for the joys received in our lives. Now that we know a little bit more about the poinsettia plant and its significance during los días festivos, are you ready to make a poinsettia flower pencil to thank others? Step one, adults place a large pen on the stove, then pour two cups of water. Let the water heat up on a medium flame. In the meantime, peel the beets entirely using the vegetable peeler and have two cups of peels ready. Step two, as soon as the water starts boiling, adults add two cups of beet peels. Cover the pan and let it steam for one minute. Using the spatula, move the beads to the side and gently place four corn husks into the pan one by one. Stir, making sure the corn husks are covered with the bead coloring. Cover the pan and let it simmer for one hour. After one hour, use the tongs to remove the corn husk from the pan. Place the corn husk on the plate and let them dry for one day. Reminder, be careful with the dye. It can stain clothing. If the dye lands on a countertop, you can clean it up right away with a paper towel. Step three, adults rinse the pan and place it on the stove again. Pour two cups of water. Let the water heat up on a medium flame, and in the meantime, children can tear the greens into very small pieces, the smaller the better, to make two cups of leafy greens. Step four, again, once the water starts boiling, add two cups of leafy greens, lower the flame, and let it simmer for one minute. Then add one corn husk into the pan. Stir to make sure the corn husk is covered with the leafy green. Cover the pan and let it simmer for one hour. After one hour, use your tongs to remove the corn husk from the pan. Place the corn husk on the plate and let it dry for one day. Step five, place one corn husk on the third plate. We don't need to color this corn husk. The natural color of the corn husk is ideal for what we need it for. Now that we know the process of coloring corn husk using natural dyes from vegetables, let's get started and make a poinsettia flower pencil. Again, we are going to do this step by step. Remember, the poinsettia flower has a special type of leaf called brack, which is a leaf that mimics a flower petal. Reminder, if the corn husk is too dry, spray some water to soften it. First, using your ruler, measure and cut a three by three piece from the red corn husk to make three small red leaves. Fold it in half three times 
and cut the shape of half a petal. For one flower, we are going to need three small red leaves. One, two, and three. Next, continue using the red corn husk. Cut a four by four piece to make the median red leaves. Again, we are going to fold it in half three times. One, two, three and cut the shape of half a petal. We now have three medium red leaves. Lastly, using the red corn husk, cut two five by five pieces to make the large red leaves. Again, Fold each piece in half three times. And cut the shape of a petal. Do the same for the other piece. Now we should have six red leaves. Second, we're going to make the green leaves. It will be the same shape as a petal. Cut a five by five piece from the green corn husk. For the, for the green, green leaves, we're also going to fold it in half three times. And cut in the shape of half a petal. We should have now three large red leaves. Third, we're going to make the three poisentia flowers. Begin by cutting a five by five piece from the natural color corn husk. Fold the piece in half twice to make four rectangles. Using your scissors, follow the lines and cut the corn husk in four equal parts. Fold one end of each rectangle several times about halfway. Then roll the folded area and then twist all the way down, all the way to the bottom of the corn husk. We should have now four true poisentia flowers. Remember, these are the flowers. Now let's bind them. Using, using the sketch, bind the flowers to the pencil. Fifth, we're going to add the small red leaves that mimic the petals. Add the three red leaves first and treat them using scotch tape. Next, add the medium leaves. Followed by the large ones. Make sure you don't leave any space in between. Then add the green leaves. Don't forget to take them using the scotch tape. Lastly, cut a foot long of the green ribbon or floral tape. Secure the green ribbon with glue 
right below the green leaves. And wrap the pencil all the way around Make sure you wrap it around all the way down. If you need to sharpen your pencil, you can undo the ribbon, cut and glue it again. And you're done. Now it's time to review what we learned today. Let's go over the questions that I asked you earlier. Please share and compare your answers with the person next to you. The first question, what does the Poinsettia plant symbolize during Los Dias Festivos? That's right, the Poinsettia plant symbolizes the joy of giving during Los Dias Festivos to thank others for everything we receive in our lives. The second question, why do you think using natural dyes from vegetables is a good idea to color holiday arts and crafts? Because they're natural. Natural dyes from vegetables are free of chemicals and they're good for you and the environment. Think of all the holiday arts and crafts that can be colored using natural dyes from plants. What else will you create? We are nearing the end of our workshop, but first we need to talk about the importance of washing your hands to avoid getting sick. Follow the steps shown on your screen. Remember, do not forget to protect yourself and others. Always use soap and warm running water for 20 seconds. And don't forget to turn off the faucet with a paper towel. That's it, beautiful people. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel, feel good about yourself for making a poinsettia flower pencil to celebrate Los Días Festivo. And now that you know more about the plant, parts of the poinsettia, its origin and significance during Los Días Festivos, you can make some more to share with your friends and family. Remember, it's all about the joy of giving. Don't forget to follow us on social media and share the pictures of your poinsettia flower pencil. Tag La Plaza using the hashtag En Familia con La Plaza and La Plaza LA. Please share with others what you learned today. On behalf of La Plaza and the Edible Teaching Guardian Culinary Arts team, we would like to thank you for joining us today. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you a happy and a healthy life. Gracias por acompañarnos. Hasta la próxima.